Aloha kakahiaka and welcome back to Live at the Legislature. I'm the Senate's Communications Director, Jesse Broder Van Dyke, and our guest this week is Senator Laura Thielen coming to us live from her home in Waimanalo. Senator Thielen represents the east side of Oahu, including Kailua, Lanikai, Waimanalo, and part of Hawaii Kai, and she also has Papa Hanau Mokuakea as part of her district, the Northwest Hawaiian Islands Monument. Thank you for joining us, Senator Thielen. Uh, thanks for being here this morning. You chair the Committee on Government Operations. How do you think the state government is handling the COVID-19 response so far and what could we be doing better? Um, good morning, Jesse. Thank you for having me on today. Um, I think our state it is reacting similarly to a lot of other states and that we're kind of wrestling to how to deal with this pandemic unfolding in real time. Um, similar to a lot of other states, we found that our back office systems are very old. We haven't invested in keeping them modernized and updated. And as a result, you know, a lot of people are feeling a lot of pain, like with the unemployment system, you know, the computer being, you know, 30 more antiquated, I think was the term the director used. And so it's showing that, you know, we have to be able to um, be more nimble and more quick in being able to respond to needs. And I think that's gonna be true in the future as well as now. Um, that said, I think there's a lot of people that are stepping up. You know, Hawaii tends to be really, really generous and much more generous than I think any other state that I'm aware of on the mainland. And so the food drives, the donations, the support, um, the, you know, the DOE coming up very quickly with the grab and go lunches and breakfasts at the schools. I mean, that just means a huge, huge deal for all of our residents. And it's been great to see, you know, that outpouring. And you and a number of Senate staffers volunteered to go work for the unemployment office and help them clear this backlog. They got over 230,000 unemployment claims in a single month with your help and the over 30 volunteers from the Senate and a number of volunteers from the House and other Capitol employees. They've gone through at least about half of the backlog now, almost 90,000 claims. What was your experience like uh, working down there at the convention center? Again, it was, you know, people stepping forward and the department um, being willing to, you know, uh, invite folks in, um, different state agencies contributing the computers and setting up things down at the convention center. It was really a uh, heroic effort. And I just give a lot of um, credit to everybody who participated in that. That said, it's pretty clear that the system that we use to process unemployment claims, um, it's going to take time. There's a lot of claims that you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to verify. And while I think the department has now passed the 50% mark, that still leaves, you know, maybe just under 100,000 people that have been going a month to two months waiting for this processing. So I've been um, putting forward an idea for the department, the governor, to consider the legislature that I think we should take these claims and start giving people $600 weekly payments, um, requiring them to agree that once their claim is processed, that the state, you know, they will get either $600 for the uh, federal unemployment or the $600 from the PUA, federal self-employed, that the state could uh, reimburse itself for the payments up front and then give all the back payments and the continuing payments going forward to the claimants. But people in Hawaii, you know, that are coming from the tourism industry, the restaurant industry, they can't go two months without a paycheck. I mean, it's it's heartbreaking. The emails that we're getting, you know, the lines at the food drives um, that are backing up for a mile. So it's it's time for the state to recognize that even with the heroic efforts, it's not enough. Um, we do have federal money that has come into all the states that could front end these $600 weekly payments to everybody that's currently waiting for their application to get processed. And then most of that would be coming back um, from the federal unemployment payments and the state could then use that and invest it in economic diversification or other things that we need to do going forward. And Hawaii has really been affected because our number one industry is tourism more than any other state. Well, at the same time, we've been lucky to have a relatively low rate of infection so far because of all the measures we've taken. 
your district has a lot of tourists. Kailua in particular um, has been inundated for years. What's it like going there right now with no tourists and only locals? You know, I, um, I've been abiding by the stay-at-home order most of the time. Um, I have gone to go visit my mother for social distance visiting, um, you know, to bring her some things from our garden and, you know, socialize a bit with her. And so when I am out on the road, um, you know, there's definitely a lot of traffic is missing. Um, I think there's a lot of concern about how do we set up um, – good security given that we don't know a lot of information about this virus and we're still finding out a lot scientifically so that if we do open up for visitors to come back again that it's done in a safe way and i think it's a little premature to be opening up at this point we still need more data we still need more um, infrastructure at the airports to be able to take care of that that before people can start coming in and for a while there, the governor and the mayor prohibited, uh, closed all the beach parks and wouldn't let uh, people go even to go exercise in the parks. They've since been relaxed. Um, has that made a difference? Have people been following the social distancing guidelines? I think it's made a huge difference. We don't have a lot of area for people to be able to walk and recreate. And, uh, you know, especially on Oahu, our roads are really, you know, narrow and they're jammed and it's not necessarily safe for people to walk there. We don't have sidewalks. You know, the beach and the parks are really essential for people to be able to get out. I, when I go down to do my beach walks, people have been very respectful of the social distancing. Um, you see a few outliers. I mean, you always do. But for the most part, I think everybody's very grateful to be able to get back out there and kind of nourish their soul and let their young kids burn off a little energy, mm -hmm. and, you know, which is essential. <laughs> when my kids were young, you know, yeah. being housebound with them would be really tough. Well, we just have about a minute left. What do you think the future of Oahu looks like as we come through this pandemic? You know, I think what's really important is for people in government to keep in mind, we, we're going to say the future is going to be changed forever. But the nation and the world has been through pandemics before. And over time, people forget. So it's important that we make sure that we update these back office systems so that if something happens again, 20, 30 years from now, people are not stuck with an antiquated, you know, unemployment software that's dated, you know, back in 2020, you know, when 2060, it's going to be outdated again. So mm -hmm. the, those systems that help government function, being able to make sure that they work two ways, we don't just take money in, we're able to get it out quickly when we need to, to people. Setting that up and maintaining it over time is going to be an essential so that we are prepared because we will forget um, in the future and things will go back and something may happen again and we need to be much better prepared than we are today. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Senator Laura Thielen, coming to us live from Waimanalo. Appreciate you joining us and thanks for everyone at home for tuning in. We'll be back again next week for Live at the Legislature. Aloha. Thank you, Jesse. Doing. We have to go. I'm gonna be late for work. It's Tuesday morning. I gotta record live at the legislature on Alelo. Senate and House leadership discussing what's happening at the state capitol? So just watch it on the news tonight. Come on, let's go. Hey, this is like getting the news before it's news. If only I could get this remote to work. There. Can we go now? No DVR? No problem. Watch Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. on Channel 49.